Good employees and good customers are difficult to find. We all know that and none of us want to lose any of either. Because when we do, we can count on our financials and our operational performance taking a hit. And none of us can afford that. It may seem like these departures happen out of the blue, but that's rarely the case. Almost always, there are signals that if we're looking for the right things, would tell us there's a problem. So today, I'm going to provide to you three leading indicators that if you pay attention to these things, you will be in a position to realize something negative is going on and take action to change it. Hi, I'm Becky Morgan. I'm an operations strategist who works with leaders of mid-sized manufacturing companies. My job is to help ensure that your operations strategy is aligned with your business strategy, but also gives you the infrastructure and the capabilities that creating and delivering increasing value to your customers requires. Now back to those three leading indicators. The first one, is that there's, um, I call it the malignant manager. You have a confined area where there seems to be problems going on, behavioral problems. They may look like attendance is getting a little shaky. It may look like taking a little longer for breaks, taking a little longer for lunch, things like that. They may not feel as committed to doing a great job as they once were. In those cases, it's virtually always a single manager that's creating the problems and that you need to address that scenario. What you do when you begin to see those signs is you go out to that area and you talk to the manager and you talk to the employees, you find out what's going on, and then you make a decision. Either you're going to work with that manager to help him become what you want, or you're going to replace him with someone who already gets it. But you can't let this fester. Leading indicator number two, the appearance is not unlike that I just described, but I call this cancerous culture for a reason. That means those behaviors have spread throughout the organization. They're not confined to a single area or a single manager. In this case, when you see those things happening, uh, attendance issues, lack of commitment, uh, lack of excitement about doing a great job, it's time for you to take a quick look and find out what's going on. And in this case, you're almost always going to need outside help because when you're in it, you can't differentiate what's causing it from what's not causing it. So bring in that outside expert, make sure they understand the culture that you want, any changes that may have been responsible for this uh, degradation of your culture, and then come together with a plan of what to do about it to get your culture back on track. Now, quite often, this is going to require changes in leadership and or several managers, but most likely leadership, and you're going to need to be willing and able to make those changes. If you're not, unfortunately, your culture is in bad shape and is not likely to improve. The third leading indicator I want you to pay attention to is related to your customers. I call this one rootless relationships. You've got good customers and heretofore, they've responded to your calls quickly, they've responded to your emails, they've shared information, they let you know what's going on so that you can make good decisions to support them extremely well. But if you start to see those phone calls taking a little longer to get returned, the emails, maybe they go, oh, well, it got lost. Uh, if they're not responding to you the way they have, the relationship has soured and you wanna do that before they move on to a different and better relationship. The best way to handle this is to go out and talk with them. Send one of your best people, which is quite often going to be you, out to meet with them. Tell them what your perception is, find out what their perception is, and reestablish that relationship. All of your relationships that are important need to have deep roots that can't just be blown away by the wind. So go talk to those people and make sure that you've got the roots that you need in your relationship. So again, 
There are three leading indicators I've provided to you. Two are focusing on keeping good employees. The third is focused on keeping good customers. The first one is malignant manager. The second one is uh, a cancerous culture. And the third one is rootless relationships. Any of those three are bad for your company, for your profitability, and for attracting more good employees and more good customers.